Uh, my name is Scott Fraser, but everybody calls me Buffel. I'm 21 years old. Originally from Joburg, but now I live in Nalsbreit. So before week of training, I was a student. I was studying photography, and then I took a bit of a gap year before eventually deciding to come on the course. So yeah, joining Eco Training was a bit of a push for my parents. They were at the Dross, which is right next door from the Eco Training offices. So they went out for a night the one day, and then they left the bar, found Eco Training, like looked through the window, found it. They were like, "What's this?" And that's eventually, so they let me know about this and then they told me about it like do you always love nature why don't you just give it a shot and that's kind of how I found out about it looked into it a bit more and then I think it was a few months later I was starting the course I was more of the child that used to sit outside and eat dirt than say inside and play with toys and that so I was always outside in nature itself and I think that just grew originally being from Nullsprate I'd always gone into the Kruger and I'd lived in nature, my aunt owns a farm, so I'd always been out in the outdoors, it just, yeah, so from there it just kept going, never lost interest for it. I never really knew what I was going to be doing, so at the time in my life I was just willing to try a whole bunch of things and after studying photography I realised that I enjoyed the photography side of it but I didn't want to go into the corporate world so I had done weddings and product photography but I never really wanted to do that like to carry on with that so I kind of pushed I wanted to do either wildlife or sport photography and they're both big industries to try and get into so it was more of a push going to the nature side and then joining the two this is just a nice way to get into the wildlife photography side of it. I loved it completely, I, every moment of it, it was an experience that I never thought I'd happen or have in my life and yeah I just took it by the horns and went for it. Uh, yeah, it was one of, one of those moments where I found out where I really belong and I stuck with it, still enjoying it, don't think I'll ever forget the, the moments I've had on the course. Yeah. I haven't really had anything set in stone yet according to what's going to happen in my future. I'm hoping to go into guiding for the first bit and then branch off into the photography side. I want to do more guided walking safaris but incorporate the photography to so try and start something new because I've seen lots of the photography side of guiding. It's all vehicle based stuff. I want to try and incorporate the two and branch out there and try something new. No, no, definitely. So I think it's... Uh, with everybody it has to bring you a bit closer to nature I mean spending six months in the bush it, it's kind of a live for it or die trying kind of thing so yeah it's definitely changed how I see nature you you start to grasp things a lot more like everything has, is in place for a reason and what happens around the nature itself and then personally yeah, I've, I was quite an introvert through school and that never like really branched out and through the course and being out here, I've just really, I've come out of my shell a bit and it's, it's helped me a lot, yeah.